Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your monthly reading for March. Generally my readings are love readings and they are for people that are struggling. If you are not, then this reading is probably not for you. I want you to keep in mind that you need to use your common sense. This reading may not be for your situation. And I'm saying that because, you know, I get these cross watchers that get very upset. So I'm just going to let you know they may not be. Um, this is my second try doing your reading, so I do have to tell you that you guys are trying to avoid some kind of um, disaster that you cannot avoid. Okay, you're trying to avoid something from happening, but it's going to happen. Okay, it is going to happen. Um, the thing is, as I started, and I, as I was saying that in the other reading, I was saying you can't avoid it. And I couldn't avoid myself from sneezing. I kept trying to hold it back. I kept trying to hold it back and it weren't going to happen. So I sneezed. And I let that one go. And as I started to talk, another sneeze came. You can't control what is meant to happen. Okay? So, with that said, it appears that there is some kind of break. There is some kind of split in a partnership. Could be at work, could be at home, who knows. There could be some kind of split. But this is happening. This is happening because it's time for you to love yourself unconditionally. It's time for unconditional love to enter your life, Sagittarius. It's time for you to realize that your future is bright. It's time for you to realize your goals. It's time for you to prepare for the future. It's time for your course to change, okay? It's time for your path to change. It's time for you to start the new chapter in your life. And in order for you to start the new chapter in your life, something needs to go. This is the Two of Cups reversed. I feel like it needs to go very quickly. You need to take action right now. Stop thinking about it, okay? It's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time of growth. It's a time of self-love. And it's time for you to take action and head towards your future, okay? Good fortune is on the way have to tell you that good luck is finally on the way for you Sagittarius and I have to tell you that you guys were at the end of my list for this segment and you're moved up to the to the fourth one my first one of today other than my daily vibes I moved I don't know what happened I was sitting here I was planning on doing Capricorn next no nope. no nope. Sagittarius is up next weird because it was calling me to do yours Okay, many of you should be starting to feel some relief and maybe you needed to know that. I think some kind of truth, and I'm starting to get the goosebumps, the, some kind of truth, some kind of truth is going to be revealed. Some power, I'm getting that, I wish you could see them. The power is going, you're, the power is going to be given back to you in some way. There's a change of course that brings you some renewed power. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is the Wheel of Fortune with this Ace of Swords. You guys are going to be given. This is, a, this is the, in the other decks, this is the Hand of God with the Ace of Swords. And they're handing you this power. They're handing you this truth. And they're saying, here you go. It's yours now. I'm giving you the power. And you, this is relief. You guys should be receiving some relief. Okay? But I see that you're reluctant to let something go because it's scary to let go of what you've already known. You've always always known, or what you've known. You guys are reluctant to to for for this split, but I feel like this split is going to happen, whether you like it or not. It could happen very quickly, and the it's time for a renewal. Okay, some kind of split is going. There's going to be some kind of breakup or something, and it doesn't have to be the partner. Who knows? Whatever, however it resonates. There's going to be some kind of break that is going to bring you huge relief. And I see right now, or when you, whenever this happens, you might be reluctant. But once it happens, you're going to feel like, oh my God, my ships are finally coming in. This is a wonderful new change, of course. And you are be given, being given the power. You're being given the power. 
that's going to bring a lot of peace and harmony to your life after a really tough time. You guys have been through a lot of depression, anguish, despair, you know, losing sleep, just really, really depressed. You guys have been through a major depression. That's what I feel. But I think that the relief is right around the corner. March really looks like your month. This is March. This is renewal. This is rebirth. This is unconditional love. It's growth. It's fertility. There's a change, of course, coming in March that is absolutely beautiful for you. And I feel as though you are going to be given back the power that has been taken from you in the past. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Lord Almighty. And I think that there has been some sort of deceiving that has been going on. There has been some sort of deception, lies that have held you back. Uh, and it's over. It's over. I feel like that deceit is going to come out the truth is going to come out and you are going to come out on top that's what i see and i know that you saw this you knew that you were being deceived you knew that you were being lied to you knew that you were being betrayed but you were reluctant you were reluctant to take action you were reluctant to sever some ties But now, now it's time. Now you are being called to act on your hunches and step into this new path with excitement. Many of you have this exciting new path being laid out right in front of you. And that's what I see. And you have this invitation to be great. To be great. I mean, it's amazing. I got to zoom this in. And I have to tell you, this is unavoidable. You guys are having a change. You're at a crossroads and you're having a change, of course. Good good change. Positive change is on the way, Sagittarius. I know it's February when I'm recording this. This reading is for March. It could be happening now, but the chances are it's going to happen in March. And it could be the end of March. Okay? So, you guys have to just wait for things to play out but you have to take action and the other one in the first reading I did there was a lack of drive a lack of energy and that's probably right now it's time for you to get your excitement back it's going to be coming back you're going to start feeling good again I feel like you are going to be receiving a new opportunity that is very exciting and you know it could even have to do with your career you could be receiving a new job or or who knows what you're going to be receiving something new that is very exciting and you're going to be a you're going to be called to just do it do it the obstacles are being removed from your life you all you have to do is continue to walk out of them it feels like it is a time of release and you know you're trying to avoid it once again what you know makes you feel comfortable what you know you know you need you got to not avoid this release a release is needed and you must do it release 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 i mean you're carrying around some somebody or something that is very very heavy that you just need to let down you need to let down you need to really 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 let this change happen and look at it through new eyes yeah yeah it might be a little hard to let go of what you know to let go of that safety net you know that safety oh this is what i know but you have to you have to you have to let go of something so this new path can unfold in front of you i feel like there you are being offered this new opportunity that dares you to be great and it's up to you it's up to you to let go of the past, to let go of your old ways. I mean, that's, that's a decision you're going to have to make. You must walk away. The time is now in March. The time is now to walk away from the past and not let back. Let go of that baggage. Let go of those burdens. Step onto the new path with excitement. It's time to make this conscious change. It's in your hands. Are you ready for this conscious change? That's what this is reversed. 
I feel like many of you are finally making the choice to let go. Let go of the past. I'm not that person anymore. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my new chapter. All of this bullshit that you have went through has brought you closer to your life's purpose. This is the purpose. It's brought you closer to your destiny. All of us need to struggle to get to where we need to be. And I feel like many of you are having a hard time letting go of your fears, letting go of the hurts, letting go of your old ways when you're being called to. But if you do, there's beautiful opportunities right in front of you. There absolutely is. I feel like if you would just not hold on, you need somebody absolutely needs to let go of something so that this new beginning will start. So somebody that is watching this is not going to have a change of course because they are going to hold on. These three cards tell me that. These three cards, and you know, perhaps this one. This one says, do not look back. But this one right, these three right here tell me that somebody needs to let go of something and they're not willing. They're not willing to the further, further new growth. They're not willing. They're not willing to let go of their safety. You know, they're not willing to uh, let go of the baggage that they're carrying around. There's somebody that's watching this that isn't quite ready for their new chapter. The majority of you are ready for your new chapter. That's what I see. I see that many of you are going to be freeing yourself from this mental conflict, reevaluating, okay? And taking charge, taking the lead, bringing the victory to your life. This is the chariot. You, many, many, most of you are going to be taking a risk and stepping into the unknown and releasing the baggage and releasing the burdens and letting go of the past. The majority of you are, the more, majority of you are getting a fresh start handed right to you. And it's going to bring you success, victory, triumph, and a, and a transformation. That's what I see here. I see a beautiful change of course for the majority of you that is so much deserved. And it, I'm speechless because it just really looks like many of you are going to go down this new path that is that brings you success and victory and happiness. And many of you are, are moving forward. You're moving forward with great speed in March. Things are going to be happening very, very quickly. Many of you are going to be feeling very excited, you know, ready to start this new journey without fear. And I'm so happy. I am. I'm so happy to see that. It's, it's, it's really wonderful. It's like starting over. A fresh start starting over it's like you're starting over in March new start for the majority there's a percentage here that are not ready but the majority of you are ready and you've earned it and it's time there's a change of course on the horizon Sagittarius that brings you victory transformation and new beginnings I will be doing the love readings for the weeklies. We're going to get one of these cards, see what ever comes out. Oh, lovely. Truth. Truth. Tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. I think I, I don't know if it was in this one or the other, other one I did. Um... Because remember, I already done one for you, but I sneezed. Somebody, there was deceit. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there was deceit. Somebody, you're going to come out on top. I feel like you've been betrayed. I feel like you have been lied to. And your truth, because you've been telling the truth, I think that you have been telling the truth, is going to prevail. So this is just a, this is just a uh, reiteration 
that your integrity wins. Your reward is coming, Sagittarius, in March. It is. It is. I see a renewal, rebirth, growth, gifts. Uh, it looks great. I love it. I really do. For most of you, like I said, there is a small percentage that are not going to free themselves from something that they need to free themselves from. There's, there is. I mean, there's a small percentage of you that are not ready to step on to this new path that's going to be laid out in front of them. But the majority of you are ready. And the ones that are, the ones that see the path when it comes, are going to have a wonderful, fresh, new start that brings victory, triumph, and transformation. Talk to you later.